All right, you guys, this is literally take three of me making this video. You guys fell so many times. So I said to myself, let me just restart this video because I can't be having y'all falling that many times. I mean, once, okay, but like I felt like three or four times. Anyway, let me start my little intro over. You guys all know today is Wednesday and I put up my weight in Wednesdays. So my name is Keisha. I am 20. Oh, shit. I thought you guys were going to fall. I am currently 24 weeks post op VSG surgery. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I post these videos up every single Wednesday. Make sure you guys thumbs up just to let me know you guys are still enjoying the way in Wednesdays. I've been doing this for over almost five months now. So let me know if you guys are getting bored and you guys rather see like weekly updates or something like that. So anyway, um, stats. Starting weight, October 30th, surgery day was 276. Today I am, oh, last week I was 232.0. Today I am 232.0. Point two, so I gained two point ounces. I gained two ounces, which I'm not mad about at all. Uh, the lowest I did see was two thirty point zero, which would have been a nice two pounds loss. However, I have been snacking like crazy. Um, I believe I had takeout once during this whole quarantine thing. I've really been trying to like save money because of the fact that you have to stay home and. I'm saving money on daycare and you know I'm trying I'm trying to save my funds and so and and the whole fact that I really you know don't want to be eating from other people you know just sanitary wise and all that stuff so anyway um that's the thing I ate out once and that really didn't put me over um one thing I can say about having the sleeve is when I binge um or when I overeat let me say that when I do overeat it doesn't affect me as much as it used to um, pre-surgery like and it's, it's basically because I'm able to eat a lot more back then like I can eat um, takeout for every single meal and I have done that before breakfast lunch and dinner I have eaten takeout and now you know my overeating is basically eating like a bag of chips or eating too much you know what I mean and just being and now I notice when I am overeating other times I'll just be full and now I'm like stuffed sluggish can't move stomach hurt like chest pain like it's just too much so uh, and that's how I felt yesterday I had like two bags of chips I had um and then I went to go get a pop tart and I couldn't even eat the whole thing and usually when I eat a pop tart I always share it with my son anyway so I knew I was going to share it with him but literally he almost ate more than half of it because I wasn't able to eat it at all um, most of it so and that was just being greedy and the fact that it was in my house so um yeah I really need to slow down with snacking um, and I did the lowest I think I told you guys this the lowest I seen was 230 so as you guys can see I have been like you know holding a lot of weight still I'm still in the 230s um, I'm still trying to get out of the 230s that is still gold and today today's Wednesday I'm gonna go food shopping and I'm um, going to pick up a few things, you know, just plan for success and, um, you know, just see how that goes. I will be doing a grocery haul just so you guys can see what I'm getting. Last week, I think I told you guys this, there was no produce, like no fresh produce in the grocery. They didn't even have bananas. They didn't have oranges. Like, you know, people were really racking up. And I think they're still going to be doing the same thing. It is a little later in the month. What is today? Like the 14th or 15th? So I'm hoping, you know, there are some things still there. If not, I will just go to another store. I'm not going to sit here and go another week without having, like, my fresh produce because now that I'm not having fresh produce, I'm literally eating, like, um, granola bars and chips because I did bring chips today for a snack. And, like, yeah, I'm not trying to have that. I'm trying to stay away from dairy as much as possible, just a little bit, um, and when I say dairy, I'm really talking about cheese. I'm not really a milk drinker. If I do have milk in my house, it's because um, I'm cooking with it. But it's not like I'm having cereal or having a cup of milk or something like that. I'm, I probably need like three-fourths of a cup or half a cup in a recipe. So um, I usually do like string cheese and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to stay away from that as well. Just because my body doesn't... Um, 
doesn't react to cheese that that well like it makes me very very gassy now so that's a side effect um but i do make smoothies usually with low fat um milk it is it does have milk in it but it's usually low fat so it doesn't really bother me smoothies don't bother me at all um and then protein powder usually has, sometimes the ones I get usually have a milk dairy product in it. That doesn't bother me as well. But just like straight up cheese usually bugs me. Um, so I'm definitely going to be looking at that. I just, my whole thing is I really need to stop snacking. Um, it's a lot going on with me, just like it is with other people. Everybody's going through this whole pandemic, not just me. Um, so yeah. I talk about it in a video that I didn't post yet. I've been po I've been recording a lot of videos so that I can post it for you guys every single day. But I didn't post a video yet telling you guys that my um, father was in the hospital. He's been in the hospital for over a week now. So there's that. Been going through that. And the fact that, you know, we are going through a pandemic as well. So it's not like anybody can visit him. Like nobody can visit him. So it's just, it's just a lot. Um... So, I've been kind of uh, emotionally eating as well because of that and due to the fact of the pandemic as well because I'm home all the time. Um, oh, I haven't been working out, have to be honest. I probably haven't worked out in a week and a half. So, I definitely 100%, 1000% to the trillion power <laughs> need to start working out again. That is that is definite for me. So, and, and that just helps my mood overall. So, I'm going to get back into working out. I'm going to get back into the things that uh, really help me drive and get this weight off. Um, like I said, I'm not mad about the, the two ounces at all. I mean, hey, that, that's fine with me. Um, but I would like to be going in the other direction, of course. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. If you guys have any, if you guys are struggling like me as well because of the whole pandemic or you know, just family issues and stuff like that, definitely let me know down below because I can relate. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.